Welcome back, True Believers. This is Raktar, and today I'm going to be playing some more Paper Mario's Thousand Years of Door Adventures. He goes through an adventurous door every day for a thousand years. All right. Anyways, uh, in the last episode, I finished Chapter 3, I defeated Rockhawk, and I defeated the true enemy, who was Grubba all along. He turned out to be a Bane-ass motherfucker, and in this episode, I am going to probably be playing as Princess Peach. I'm back in the x knots base, where these lame brains are explaining to their boss why they failed miserably. And I'm not reading anything that's happening on the screen right now. I actually... I am. But, uh, so anyways, it looks like these assholes are being sent, the three, the sisters three, are being sent back to plague Mario once again. And the princess is probably wondering where her robot friend is. Those awful X things haven't been back to ask about the map, I wonder. They haven't been asked back to ask about the map because they got it. No, they didn't actually. That must be tech again. The... Can I open these lockers? Nope. Alright, so obviously Tech, my boyfriend, other than Mario, who I am cheating on. Sorry about that strange break, I stopped to get some water. I've been a little bit sick, that's why actually why I didn't upload a video yesterday. Sometimes I think about when I'm like, talking about the fact that like I'm sick or something, that it probably is sort of like strange because if you're not watching this as I'm uploading it, then that is like, well, they're all just in a row anyway, so it's probably stupid of me. But anyways, let's see here. What? What do you mean? Go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You're the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true, but you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. Oh, <gasps> Dude, the, you mean I'll be disguised? I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? Dude, what sh- this guy has been letting us send emails like- if she does what this guy wants, he might help her get... I mean, honestly, he sure is a weird computer. Yeah, he's a weird computer. He malfunctioned. Oh. Oh, is the elevator wanted me to go in? It must be because it opened up, you stupid, dumb bitch. But yeah. Um, I think that she really needs to be listening to all the things that Tech says since he's been the only person... Uh, that she has been getting any help from whatsoever, and it's given her the chance to, like, send tricky emails to Mario, and here she is, like, second-guessing him. It's the room with the green lamp, very near where you disembarked the elevator. Alright. Very near- okay. So it's probably- Yep, okay. Well, that was easy enough to find that room. Now, does this mean I'm gonna have to fight the soldier as Princess Peach? Because that would be awesome. Oh no, he's in- Oh. Is there a soldier in one of these showers, perchance? Oh! Oh no, don't! Okay, I was like, don't take a shower, I don't have time for that bullshit. I like- oh, okay, so, I guess that's where- oh, these are changing rooms. I thought there were, like, showers, and there was, like, maybe a soldier taking a shower, and that's why there was gonna be a uniform in the locker, but apparently... That's not the case. That is- this is stupid. This situation is made up. This would never happen in real life. And now, yep, we have a nice little changing room, which they do so you won't see Naked Peach, because this is a family-friendly game. You can't see Naked Peach. All right, here we go. Let's see what. Oh wow, it fits her perfectly. I bet I look perfect, dude. You know what? She actually does look perfect. Like, there's really nothing non-ex naughty about her. Oh, and look, I can just like. Hey, slacker, what part of- do not leave your post, don't you understand, huh? Hmm? What, come again? Oh, come on, break- well, fine. Yeah, bitch, I'm on break. Oh, wait. I must be in the wrong place. Okay. So I can't use the yellow- oh, so it's- it's right here. Okay, I get it. I thought that maybe I had to go back down and go through the other door, but... Oh, no. Alright. I hope this works! Dude, we should just try and, like, use this computer and just, like, take over the base. 
Or we should try and go through this back door and take our- nope, nothing doing. Alright. This is it. I hope this works. I hope he doesn't be like, aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? I'm actually taller than all the x knots So he might be like, aren't you a little tall for an x knot Oh well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Something is wrong with your voice, x knot Gloop. Perhaps I have a throat lozenge. No, well, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach. I have no interest in what a woman has, uh, uh, in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly. You understand? Tell the others as well. But why in the world are we keeping her here then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impudent worm. Concentrate on getting the legendary treasure. That is all I require of you. We ex knots need that treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Oh, dude, so. Tech is basically just trying to, like, get her released. Oh well, Tech. It looks like that ain't gonna happen. Oh, and it brings me right back here. But now she knows it's here. All that stuff about conquering the world. Talk about creepy. I wonder if that has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, it does, Princess Peach. Off with this. Ooh. Do you see, actually, the hook come off? Do ya? Do ya? You totally maybe... Oh, wait. What? Oh, she changed. Okay, hey, I thought for a second there... I better go back quickly. Oh, dude, I'm totally gonna get caught on the way out. Eventually, they're gonna suspect that something's fucking happening that's letting me out over and over. Oh, no, she just went straight back to tech. Okay. Tech, you terrible machine! So your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course. After all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world? How could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there's also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world, and what's this treasure? I am afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for all domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow that- Dude, see, it's like, that seems like that would be against text programming. To be like, eh, I can't tell you anything, but you, like, it's not in my programming for you to try to, for, to me, it's not in my programming for me to try and stop you from undermining me. But, uh, but apparently, I mean, he has to know what the message is that I'm sending say because they're being relayed directly through him slash her slash it. I shouldn't say him, it's a computer, but dude, you know what? That's kind of racist of me to be like, oh, it can't be a he or a she because it's a computer. I mean, realistically, if the computer wants to be a guy, it's a guy. If it wants to be a girl, it's a girl. Who am I to take that away from him, her, it? Oh, and it looks like Bowser has discovered the punies. What a, what a dick. And it looks like he's searching for... Let's see here. Who would have thought that fool would be in Glitzville? Wait, didn't he come to Glitzville to fight me? Alright, whatever. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those were some, uh, punies. One of them know about the Crystal Star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find the- Oh, dude. Bowser is so far behind the curve. Like, he doesn't even realize... Hey. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah! This guy's big and bad. He's large and in charge! Okay, so they... Okay, there he goes. Are the other ones gonna run for me, or is it just that guy? Wait, wait. Eek, you're scary, Mr. B B Bad Monster. Don't worry, Petunia. Your big brother is here. We'll gulp get through this. Oh, man. Oh, look at this, dude. I could, like, burn this tree to the ground. Whoa. Be gone! Oh, is that the Elder? You're one of them. You're one of them, aren't you? One of the evil doers. You want our crystal star. Ha! See, I knew it. These, uh, this ugly thing knows where the crystal star is. Tell us! How rude! Ugly thing, how dare you, you wretched crony! I am a great puny leader! Eep! My heart don't startle me like that. I'm too old for this stuff. Um... It's Hag versus Hag. <laughs> um, they both are shitty jokes. It's Hag versus Hag. Ahem, uh, yes, Lord Bowser, you look as if you're just trying to say something. Oh, he's just talking to him. He's not even... A badass enough to actually say his insults. What a little bitch. All right. And don't try pulling rank again. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. 
hag thing. Honestly, in any case, you're too late. The crystal star is gone. A what? That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to a mustachioed man named Marty O. <laughs> he said he was collecting the legendary treasure to rescue some princess. What did he call her? Princess Pinch. Yep. He was off to save that lucky lash. It's Mario, not Mario, and it's Princess... Uh, and it's not Princess Pinch. Her name is Princess Peach. Oh, snap, dog. She saw through his foolish old man ramblings. And now what do you do, Bowser? Now what do you do? What do you do? Is he going... To, am I going to get another sweet Bowser level where I stomp through? Oh, nope. Man, Bowser's just one step behind. He's actually on me when he got to Glitzville, but then it was like he lost my scent again after I kicked his ass in Glitzville. I wonder what happens... Oh, so is everyone going to be happy with me here in Glitzville? I guess they are because... Jolene is, like, was a good guy all along, and now her brother's back to fight in the Glitz Pit, and I am the proud owner of the championship belt. Gonzalez, I want to tell you, Rockhawk ain't gonna fight dirty anymore. I'm gonna hit the weights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. And I'm never, ever gonna lose again. Remember, when life rocks you, rock back! Listen, G-Money, thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I ever met, and if you ever need I got your back. Me? I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby. And it's all thanks to you, dog. You're my boy, Mario. Now that grub is out of the picture, I'm gonna take you over running the Glitz Pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back and- Oh, oh no, this is Jolene. She has a very pretty voice. Jolene's a great- Jolene's a real stand-up lady. I don't want to insult her by- Doing it. Oh, you know, so... Oh, events? Events? Three crystal, we better report back to Roadport, Mario. Oh, I thought there was gonna be some sort of... Hey, was see this guy always here? The greatest fight ever. The man, Great Gonzalez. You gotta fight again. I'll wait for your comeback until the end of time. Alright, so chapter three being completed. I'm going to cut back to a quick, uh, chunk o point in the game. Wherein I shall turn in my next crystal star. Oh, I'm getting an email, which means it is now the time to... Oh, yep, email from Princess Peach. So, yeah, I just wanted to pop back up because an event was happening, and I was going back to think, Dearest Mario, I have uncovered something terrible. These things, the X-Nots, they're planning on taking control of the world. It's to that end that they're searching for the Crystal Stars. I still don't know what the Crystal Stars do, but you might try to get them all. I will gather what information I can, Princess Peach. Th they want to rule the world? Um, I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, me neither, Coops. Me neither. Well, shit my whiskers. I was taking my shortcut to get down to, um, the door of a thousand years when I noticed that now with the help of my little guy, my, my precious little guy, I can get over here in the sewers, which possibly very well means that I can get back there, do a little, oh yeah, do a little platforming. And that will, oh, platforming. And hopefully I can platform my way over to the star piece. Oh my gosh. Platforming when you're like, the camera angle just makes this so ridiculously strange. But look, it's, it's not hard at all. In fact, it's easy piece of cake. But I don't think my hammer is at, oh, 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 there we go. I don't think my hammer is actually at a satisfactory level to, oh, we can make that, to open up this door right- well, the door we can check. But what I was saying is I don't think my hammer is at a satisfactory level to, uh, yeah, have any effect on that. But let's check out the door. And what? What? To Twilight- what the feck? I'm probably not supposed to go here. Yep, okay. The pipe rejected you. Okay, so I have to be accepted by the Great Wizard. That's obviously not really- that's probably not really actually a thing. Dude, I should be riding on this little guy all the time when I'm just like- Oh, no, no, no. When I'm just kind of like hanging out around the world because... He runs really fast. But yeah, this is where I do believe there is a wee bit of a shortcut. Oh! Oh, no! Dude, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that yes. This should be a shortcut to the Thousand Year Door, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Well, I mean... It's not a shortcut directly to the Thousand Year Door, per se, but it is a shortcut, yeah, I mean... I think that is, at this point in the game, 
the fastest way that I know of to get to the Thousand Year Door, but I'm not 100% sure. So now, I have returned to the Thousand Year Door for, like I said, for what feels like the first time in a long time, just because I spent so long doing battles at, um, the Glitz Pit. So now I'm finally here, able to turn in this quest, and this is the first time my boy, Fan Tasty, Fan Tasty, is getting to see the glory of the Thousand Year Door. And then hopefully Professor Lumpy Butt, uh, what's that guy's, I haven't seen him in so long, Professor Frankly, can be frank about where the next Crystal Star is. Hopefully, I mean, I'll probably end up going to Twilight Town or taking the train. I'm kind of guessing that it's going to be in Twilight Town just because, um, you kind of get there using, uh, Fantasty, and so it's like the next place. Okay, maybe it's not. It's... Maybe it's over there. Maybe that's Twilight Town. That place looks pretty Twilighty, right? I mean, but it actually looks like a dark forest, so it's probably gonna be like called the Deep Dark Forest of Douche or Lee. The Deep Dark. Hey, that shows me Crystal Star is. Can't that frankly guy read it? That'd be cool. But first, we better tell him what Princess Peach's email said, right? Oh yeah. I feel like we could have guessed what Princess Peach's email said, or I mean, like we could have guessed. That the x knots are up to no good. I don't think I- I think I've only met the x knots once, though. What? The group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on total world conquest! Uh-huh, you got that right. That's why those jerks need his legendary treasure. Hmm, this doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held to what I thought was a preposterous theory. This book claimed that the treasure was, in actuality, a great cataclysm. The very cataclysm that, a thousand years ago, sank that town underground. So these jerks think they can... think the power of that cataclysm will help them rule the world? I can't say for sure what they will do, why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters, because if they don't, they do get it, then once again, this town, no, the entire world could be destroyed. But now with it, Prof, we gotta find the next, uh, Crystal Star super quick. According to the map, it appears that, oh, it is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? Tell you the truth, I don't know much about the place myself. Only rumors. I've heard that, as the name implies, it's perpetually dim and eerie there. Just... Tell me how to get accepted by the pipe. That's all I really want to know. Ah, there appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere here in Rogueport. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of the town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me again, okay? Hey, Prof, what's the pipes to do? Go, we went in, but we got pushed right back out. What? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How odd? Hmm, I'm afraid I have the foggiest idea of what you should do. Hmm. Oh, of course, I've heard that fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rogueport. If anybody knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was, uh, dang, what was it? Ah, oh, yes, the lover of dark places, Darkly. I've seen him loitering right here in this part of town in the past. Look for Darkly. So he was in the past. No, I'm just kidding. That's not what he meant to- There's nothing in the trash can this time. You know who I do feel com- Right here in this part of town- Whoop. I got an email. It's probably the- The town update or whatever. What is it? Um, Koopy Q, miss you- Oh, what? Oh, dear Mario and Coops, I hope you're- Oh, it's, uh, Coops' girlfriend. What's her face? I get lonely and I go into Coops and- Wh what Oh, it's kind of gross and perverse. Alright. Um, has his own smell and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Hooktail's gut. That's disgusting. Now I gross myself out. Oh, gotta be my dad too someday. I better get used to that smell, huh? Oh, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed. Love Coopy Q. Yep. Okay, she just goes into my house and smells things. That is creepy as fuck. Darkly? Oh yeah, I've heard of that guy. That dude's always moving from shadow to shadow. I bet you can find him behind a building or something, definitely. Alright, so I need to go... So it's this part of town, behind a building. But before I do any of that bullshit... Let's get an upgrade. Oh, I got it. You know who I'm gonna have to upgrade. Fantasty. My apologies if for some reason you absolutely love that, um that sequence where you get upgraded because I was like sitting there and I was like I oh whoa. I actually just so I was like okay so he's supposed to be in this part of town I was like that wall looks weird that is so cool that is legit cool all right but yeah I was like uh, I've already shown that one part oh that's got to be the guy 
That looks like Dark Link. Alright, let's talk to this guy first, though. Hey, 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 I'm pulling another card trick today and making tons of loot. But somebody started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone or I sh you saw me or I'll kick you. Fuck you, dude. I'm gonna tell everyone and I'm gonna fight you. Oh yeah, that guy is totally... But I wanna drink this these wine bottles that are just chilling. Wait. There's gotta be, like, something sort of secret that I can get to from getting up on this bucket of boxes. Whatever, fuck it. Let's... Okay, let's chat. No, no, no. No, no. Let's go this way first. Yeah! Star pieces! I gotta go spend some of those at some point to get a power plus. The name's Darkly. Do you guys need something? Huh? You want to know how to get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Couldn't be easier. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. No, really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay, I'll write it here on this on the seat of your overalls. Mario, right? Oh, that is perverse and just wrong. There, perfecto mundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name too. What's your name? Fantasty, baby! Oh my gosh, you're just writing on everybody's asses. This guy is awesome and creepy at the same time. Hey, watch where you're drawn, buddy! I don't know what errand is taking you to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. Ooh, yeah. Oh, rooting. That guy is gonna be rooting for me. I don't know why. Okay, you know what? Enough of that creepy ass voice, because that just. It's just not right. Is just not right. And is anything gonna happen if I go into this chunk of town? No way, where's Luigi? Is he not... Here? I was hoping Luigi would be... Hanging around to tell me more of his, uh, his story. Oh, check it out. It is, here's Luigi, he's right here. And he's got a second piece of his compass, so he's a little bit behind me right now, because I've got three of my thing. Alright, let's hear it, Luigi. Let's hear your story from Plump Belly Village. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. Once we made landfall on the Strudel Continent, we made for Plump Belly Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hizza. He said his own daughter was going to be offered up as a sacrifice to this beast, too. So, of course, being heroic, I offered myself up to go into the, her stead. Brave, huh? Now, the custom was for sacrifices to be dressed as brides, so I got all dolled up. I was one hot sacrifice, bro. I looked so good, I fooled our foes and got into Hizza's lair. I was kind of rough fighting in that- uh, it was kind of rough fighting in that gown, but I managed. Chiffon- uh, Chiffon really chafes, bro. I finally found his eye, and the snake had a second head on its tail! Talk about scary. I fainted real quick, but when I came to, I managed to distract both heads. It reared up, fangs bare to attack, and at that moment I le uh, deftly lunged it. His gaping mouth smashed into one another, and he vanished into a cloud of smoke. A shining plate fell down on the spot where his body had been coiled. Yes, another compass piece. I set it, and it pointed east to Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it, she was sort of cute, but we ended up smacking, uh, sneaking off to uh, the next morning. I mean, I still have to save Princess Eclair from the Chestnut King. And when the Marvelous Compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. My heart began to race, and when I realized that Princess Eclair, I think I... And somewhere we managed to get back here to Rogueport, and here I am. Oh, I missed a part. Right, here I am. Now, my name is written on my ass by that one guy. I'm heading into the pipe to Twilight Town. And I don't even know where it's gonna... It's gonna come out at Chapter 4. The town of Twilight sleeps to Nylight. For pigs, the bell tolls. Okay, great. For pigs, the bell tolls. Twilight Town. Oh my gosh. It's like a dark version of... What the f... Okay, so there are pigs here. And there's a dude. Is that the same dude, or is that just a dude that looks like him? Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? Hey. Is, is this... It's been a long time since anyone would come from outside. You've come from far away. Yeah, those clothes of yours. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? Wait, a bad time? What do you mean by that? Oh, gee whiz. I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear. And a scary tale to tell, too. Uh-oh. The bell's ringing. He's gotta go. Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? It's... Oh! So they're all turning into pigs. Uh-oh. For... For poor Freddy got turned into a pig. No good. Not good. And this is like the village elder, probably. Who are you, Gramps? 
I'm the mayor of this town. Some call me Dior. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? Oh, I accidentally skipped that box of text. Is he- wait. Oh, I'm following him to his place. Uh-oh. I don't wanna- I don't wanna follow you to your place. This is dark and dirty. Welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you, but welcoming people is generally a good thing, and it's not- and it's bad here. As you may have guessed, this town has been cursed! Whoa, cursed! Yes, Curse, that's right, word, of course. You, you see, beyond uh, town is a forest, and as hard as an ancient building, the creepy steeple. The dark creature lives there. Its curse ordains that when the steeple bell rings, one of the twilighters living here in the village becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become swine? Will I, too, become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried I can't sleep at night, of course. Night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us! Leave before you, too, get pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a star-shaped rock called the Crystal Star. I don't know about any Crystal Star thing, but in Creepy Steeple, there's glittery red stone shaped like a star. Whoa, you serious? That's gotta be the Crystal Star. Gotta be. Ah, oh, you people. You aren't thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, are you? Oh, yes. We are. Not only are we thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, Creep, Creeper Sturple, we're going to Kirby Sturple in the next episode. We're going to Creepy Steeple. This has been Rakdar. Thank you for watching.